Hi guys and welcome back to our channel what a joy right this is big thank you to our lovely family over at see the salamanca and ferrari dealer of marbella once again it provided us with a sweet car to come to an incredible 16 and a half million euro uber mansion in soto grande thanks to james stewart the exclusive lister now guys, this is the front of the house. As you have seen, we have an elegant drive-in, but let's talk about the architecture of the house. Clean, minimalistic lines, travertine clad on the walls, big picture windows, not only illuminating the inner space, but also making this home look quite futuristic. Now we also have a garage space here for at least two to three cars, a hidden door that leads to the laundry and to a stuff compartment and of course another covered car parking section right here. Just imagine you go to Ferrari dealer Cidre Salamanca, you buy yourself a couple of the beautiful Ferraris like this one here and park it there. It's a perfect ride for this home. Now guys, also smash the like button if you enjoyed the intro and of course, let's start the tour, come on. A humongous door into a really big house. We have over 1,800 square meters of built area inside. Six bedrooms in the main house plus two right over there. We'll come to everything, guys. I don't even know where to begin. It's a big house. It's a beautiful design and I really love it. Entry for you, which is looking out directly to the first little landing here, which is the take your shoes off place, I call it, with a stunning picture window and right outside, you have a jacuzzi with stepping stones and that water literally merges with your big infinity swimming pool which is up front, greenery of the Almenara golf course and just stunning views outwards. Now here we have the formal living room area in all its glory, L-shaped couch right here, fireplace with this big chimney going up like the natural stone look here that is actually book matched as well picture window above illuminating everything that we find here and of course your dining area right here We've got a floss lamp dangling down we've seen these before they're super designer lamps and of course sheer dimensions i look very small compared to the huge wall we have in this house no patrick yes what do you think so far it's a very big entrance it's a very big house we're coming very close why are you doing that where are you going <laughs> Anyways, we have Rainer's High Infinity aluminium sliding glass doors that allow you access to a stunning garden. Like I said, over 8,800 square meters of garden area. Beautiful. This fireplace, by the way, is omnidirectional. You can enjoy it whilst you fine dine or chill in the living room. On this level, we're gonna be looking at a kitchen, a staff apartment, dirty kitchen, and at the far end, we have bedroom number one in the house. We're not going there yet. Because this here is a cute bathroom, powder room, wallpapered, one sink vanity, draw set up right underneath, natural stone, superb, and soft clothes. And of course, what I very much like is this, the continuation of the wallpaper, which is also on this door. Storage room, and I bet Patrick, you don't know what's Elevator. Okay, spoilers. Elevator. I do actually walk through the house to check out everything. <laughs> okay, fair enough. This elevator connects the basement 
which has over 700 square meters with a stunning indoor swimming pool, gym, spa area. We'll come to that, hold your horses. And of course, the first floor with four bedrooms, soft clothes and Olivari doors, handles, door handles right there. Great, pocket door here, opens and closes and guides you right into the kitchen. Let's go. Stunning kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. This is a third Dinkum kitchen island. Once again, we've got the natural stone countertop. This time we have wolf induction as well as the appliances that I'm gonna get to. Sub-Zero fridge here and wine fridge there. Those are just fur Dinkum fridges. What we have here also nicely paneled in is your working station that you can open up as such. You've got the mood lighting right here and more wolf appliances as you can see and this is just i don't even know how this one opens voila stunning really good company and they're very heavy and fur dinkum love it so we have that there of course we have more cupboards here with the same sort of backdrop as on the kitchen island here with the wooden shelves of course, a lot of wooden theme in this entire kitchen as here too. And I just want to point out a really nice low design element. The backdrop there where the cupboards are by the bar area is also out of wood. So this entire kitchen table kind of comes out of that and is like cantilevered in a sense. And it's a beautiful Ferdinkham Benchmade table and the wooden design is throughout. Like I said, bar area right here and natural stone throughout this kitchen as well as the entire floor that we have here. And there is no wall that doesn't have the wallpaper feature. TV setup, little drawer underneath, carpet, two really tiny coffee tables. Don't really understand, they're extremely low Hi Patrick, what's going on here? <laughs> but like Japanese style. Exactly, Japanese style. And we have an L-shaped couch there. And of course, an access point out to your outdoor dining area with kettle furniture will come to the outdoor area at a later stage, probably at the end, so hold your horses. But now let's just turn around, stay there Patrick, just to uh, look at the beauty and sheer bigness of the kitchen. And of course the extractor is nicely built into the wall there. We have sound system from Sonos throughout as well. Now, taking these doors through, before we do, made out of wood, the casing is also out of wood and extended from the wall, giving more emphasis on the door. And of course, baseboards throughout with the same natural stone. You getting the baseboards? Getting everything. Sweet. Should we enter? Let's go. Let's do it. This is your dirty kitchen and it just puts shame on me to call it a dirty kitchen because nothing about it is dirty. But of course, we have the metallic countertop here, giving this entire area more of an industrial look, extractor and induction by Siemens, and a one sink here with a picture window, which can also be tilted for fresh air and a stunning view outwards. So greenery for a dirty kitchen, this is stunning. Cupboards? drawers and of course inbuilt fridge and freezer so this is where the dirty cooking might take place let's say smelly food behind this door we have the staff apartment let's look at it which when i saw it i was mind blown because this is a cute small little apartment it's got its own entrance got a dining table big bed right in the center backdrop with wallpaper as well cupboards in the same tonation as the bed frame there led lights indirect of course shelves a fantastic stuff apartment now why do i call it stuff apartment of course because we have two doors let's jump to this one first this would be your ensuite bathroom one sink vanity We've got nice hot bath taps and fittings in the house, drawer setup, toilet, and a shower. 
will explain more showers maybe in different bedrooms but beautiful now coming to the door i mentioned before which is right here we find the laundry room which is easily accessible from the staff apartment also accessible to the kitchen so basically this quarter here has everything for your stuff let's continue to this landing here we have a door that leads you to the front of the house where we began the tour as you remember i said garage and a hidden door because you'll see the hidden door here plastered with the same travertine as we've seen in the entire facade is the door that leads you into that area before we leave this area I would say let's have a quick look into the garage let's continue now because this door here where do you think it leads us kitchen back to the kitchen now that was everything we could show you on the left side of the house because there isn't more to be quite honest right at the end of the corridor we have one bedroom that we're going to be exploring but before we get there there is another room to the left which is standing empty let's look this could be anything from an office with stunning views out to the almanara golf course and the sea maybe a playroom for your children or office an office i said the office i think as the first option it could, it could also just be an empty room why not just have an empty room here we have very smartly just a little landing room with cupboards put your jackets your shoes anything you need just before you exit the house and a little ottoman to sit down clever i love as one how they went with wood everywhere giving warmth to the entire house which has a bit of a minimalistic style big picture window natural light coming in and the first official bedroom soft close in all the doors by the way let me quickly just show you guys this walk-in closet basically big ottoman right in the center and a lot of space for you to put your clothes like here open shelving drawers led light nice sliding doors as well another one here and here now i'm opening all these up for you to get an understanding of the dimensions hangers here got sensors for the lights to go on and once again in this really nice wood so the wood plays throughout the entire house in contrast to more minimalistic style and design is fantastic and more here then we'd have this bedroom perfectly centered in the middle this is the only official bedroom on the ground floor that isn't for staff looking out to a fantastic view got the swimming pool with the infinity edge low makeup desk right here and of course the continuation of the wooden panels clad it onto the wall and your led strip discreetly hidden here wallpaper your bedside tables two lounge chairs accessibility outwards a fantastic first bedroom right for sure would I you like take this. this one yes i would you like to sleep on ground floors right i just don't like to take the stairs up <laughs> lazy <Let's go. laughs> before we leave this space we also have this area once again the pocket door out of wood and we enter into bathroom number one two sink vanity setup drawers underneath hot bath taps and fittings natural stone backdrop here big picture window that also tilts open for ventilation that's important for you patrick little walk-in shower here this micro cemented look on the walls niche backdrop with natural stone once again guys this is villa white there's a fantastic home exclusively for sale with james stewart here in sotto grande and of course i'm gonna open this way the toilet and it works all right guys that was it let's continue oh yeah that's patrick by the way <laughs> let's go now, of course, you have these roll aids everywhere. You can close the house down completely. So when we came here and to preview it, when it was super hot, they actually put these 
rollades down completely so the whole house was shaded and it really kept the coolness of the rooms inside, which I would do constantly if I lived here and you want to cool down. Does it make sense? Of course. It does, doesn't it? And I also don't want people looking in all the time. Well, to be quite frank, here we have just a fantastic 180 opening to greenery and no real neighbors that are looking directly in. So that's a huge plus for this home. We have a twirly staircase that leads up to the first floor and the same goes down to the basement where we're gonna come at a later stage, so hold your horses. And big picture window that I explained at the beginning of the property tour that brings that natural light in, lets you look at these, you know, dreamy clouds hovering through the sky. Fantastic. Let's explore the first floor right now. All right, we have glass balustrades here, by the way. And I just realized walking up the stairs, you continue having that fantastic view out to greenery and the sea. Now, because this home is so big, this floor is 700 square meters, they subdivide the spaces with these sort of divisional wooden planks as well, just to, you know, give space, shape and form to the home. That and it also breaks the, out the, the, the sound. Exactly. So you don't get this extreme... Um, echoing. Echoing, yeah. Echo! See, it's not that bad. Perfect. Immense door. These two wooden... Uh, wooden... Windows. <laughs> windows. Wooden windows. The wooden two... windows, exactly. No, what I was... <laughs> what I wanted to say was you have these big two picture windows here, also giving you that possibility to look outwards and say, where's the Ferrari going, dude? Where are my cars? Don't pretend. It's a safe space here, guys. Armenara, golfed right up front. Soto Grande Alto, security, driving around the whole time. You pay 16 and a half million, you get exclusivity. Now, this would be one of the bedrooms here that I'm going to be showing you. Nice design, as you can see in the detail shots, the backdrop here with wood once again, and you have the slight elevations here and within the niches, the indirect lighting. I'm sure at night it looks stunning. The lamp as well with some more artifact here woven into it cool i'm gonna open this one just for the sake of opening it once again got the hanger here that's one of these yeah yeah we we'll have to pull okay so basically what you do i think there's a smarter way than the no, one no, I it's just exactly used. that only that if it's loaded it's heavier so it will be ah, exactly. easier so you hang your clothes here you take it put it on and once you're done you just put it back and then you close the space down. I like the contrast of the two wood, by the way, the two wooden colors, the really bright one and the darker one, setting good contrast. Makeup desk here, wallpaper again, and of course your ensuite bathroom, this time with one sink vanity, drawers right here, towel rack, backdrop, stone, big mirror, recessed in lightings the window that tilts open and of course right here we'd have shower with the same setup as before so we got the hot bath taps and fittings backdrop here place for your shampoos shower head and the bathroom right there and beautiful views when you shower out to the greenery and a pocket door right over here access point out to your terrace that you can also enjoy to sun bath or to simply look out to the greenery, the pine trees, and of course, a fantastically landscaped private garden that you have done by Ark. Great, Ottoman here, door, and a second bedroom that we should look at now. Rug laid out here, and bedroom number two, which is sort of mirrored to the first bedroom we have seen, except here we have nice lighting dangling down from the ceiling, the same backdrop here with the wood and of course the cupboards the ottoman may be different in colors not really sure about that one and of course the same setup of a bathroom as we have seen just before that's it superb let's continue because we still have two really big bedrooms to look at of which one is the main love that this entire front here is glass so you really look out to the landscape backyard of your home the drive-in we took with the ferrari the different the different trees that we have here as well pine 
we have olive trees, we have a lot of trees. Now, this would be the last bedroom on the right side of the house before we head over to the main bedroom. And it's right here throughout is the style and design. As I said before, kept more minimalistic. And to be honest, giving you that possibility to really cluster the home up with your personal items and a few elements just to finish the design for your own gusto. Right, Patrick? Yes, you wanted to say that? Gusto. Wait. This is also the system that controls the aircon, the lighting, the blinds, all with the push of a button. Of course, there's underfloor heating throughout. It's so nobody nasty. has to go down to the basement to shovel coal. Oh. No, those days have passed a long time ago. One thing, vanity setup here. Nice how uh, the sink here is kind of inbuilt to the vanity with the drain right here, hot bath, tabs and fittings, big picture window. Seems to be again a, a duplicate from the one right below. Yeah, completely. As we also have the same shower set up here with this sort of micro cemented look. And once again, Villa White. It's a beautiful home. Arc really do fantastic homes and it's always a pleasure to show them. Now to the main bedroom, which is quite epic. Let's go. It's at the end there. You see the corridor from one bedroom to the other is extremely long. This home is big, just interior. We have 1,800 square meters, so I'm not kidding you. A lot of space and the dimensions are fantastic. Two doors, which are two storage rooms. And here we have nicely inbuilt the access point to your elevator, which once again connects all three floors. You sure this is a storage room? Very sure, Patrick. <gasps> oh. oh, somebody checked the house before Dominic came. Oops, mia culpa. So yeah, maybe if you have an excess amount of shoes or jackets, this is the perfect space for you to put them or put them on whilst you sit down. I would Thank make you. this into an office. It's very... For the kids. An office for the kids. Yeah, to study. All right, cool, why not? So what is this, another This room? is a server room. Server room, that's where the elevator is. And ladies and gentlemen, this would be the main bedroom. It's beautiful. Wallpaper on this side of the wall and this designer bedroom. Love the cushioned backdrop that we have here. Bed right in the center. LED strips above, dangling down, we have uh, the lighting set up. Even the bedside tables here are super interesting. Carpet is laid out just to subdivide the areas. Don't like walking over carpets with shoes, so I'm just gonna take them off. Coffee table, two lounge chairs here. Stunning view outwards, you're seeing also the terrace space that we have. From here, you can actually look down onto your tennis court. Yes, this home has a tennis court, incredible. Basically two swimming pools because that little one there is a plunge pool with a jacuzzi function. <laughs> we have a makeup setup there, big round mirror. Of course, the sonar setup is throughout, as I said. And going this way, we enter into your walk-in closet, humongous skylight. Look at the light here. I mean, this is like being outside and that's exactly what you need for a closet area so everything's nicely illuminated here the spaces the dimensions wallpaper the backdrop as well fantastic rug laid out very nice to walk on cannot be missing more spaces here big mirror setup great lighting you see yourself in all glory and here we would have the bathroom, which in this case has a different natural stone in the vanity that's also backsplashed onto the wall. Difference here, this one's polished and this one isn't. So it is a bit rougher and more earthy, to put it that way. The two sink vanity setups here. We also have sockets on the side. Bathtub we have present. But before we get to the bathtub, this shower is, of course, for two people. You've got inbuilt shower there, so it's rain shower, one and two. Same natural stone as we have seen there. Humongous bathroom and shower area. 
right? What's here? Yeah, a little niche for your shampoos, whatever you need when you shower. It's nicely hidden there. Bathrobe. Great. What do you think, Patrick? Because you're so in the focus. It's enormous. Yeah. Huge. But then again, the bathtub could be bigger. I mean, turn around. This is definitely a bathtub, Patrick, that you and I would fit in if we were ever to bath together. Those days are over, guys. But yeah. I, I mean, if there's work. so much space, it could be double. The thing is this, just for you guys to understand the dimensions, the picture window is enormous here as well. It just, for the entire frame of the room, there is a picture window which can also be tilted. And that's it. There's more actually, wait, is there more in this room? I'm not sure, I get lost, that's how big it is. Yeah, we spoke about the terrace. This entire front is also glassed or you have the glass sliding doors. I'm gonna put my shoes on, Patrick, because we're gonna be looking at the terrace area, which we should be doing from here. Raynar's high infinity aluminum sliding glass doors. They open so gently. Let's look at this area. A fantastic space. Oh, thanks Patrick. From where you can not only enjoy the beautiful landscaped garden that belongs to you, your swimming pool with an infinity edge right over there, a nice little niche sunken in pit there to come and chill, the cantilevered ceiling there and your terrace area but a fantastic view outwards got a barbecue set up there the pavilion down there has further bedrooms completely private stunning and of course just greenery all around that is it let's continue the tour ladies and gentlemen and let us know what you think so far in the comment sections i'm gonna take this off because i am not too cool for school now from here we really get to see the depth and dimensions that we have in this house alone this lighting design from floss dangling down i don't know it must be good nine meters what do you think yeah one no maybe eight I think rather eight like four. four from here down to the ceiling i mean i thought you talked about the lamp oh the lamp might be four but the ceiling height here eight it's one two three four uh, six six meters yeah i think so great depth though picture window illuminating the area and we are back to the quarry quarry staircase this time we're going to go down to the ground floor and then to the basement so let's go too cool for school subscribe to our channel if you love property tours and if you want to be updated every time we release another tour we do beautiful homes thank you let's continue This twirly staircase is really the focal point of the ground floor and a creative way to bring dynamic energy into the house. Does that make sense? It does. You sure? Where are you going? <laughs> I wanted to show this room, which is just an empty room. Could be storage, could be anything. What would you do here, Patrick? Cinema. Exactly, you could do a humongous cinema room. I would maybe put a ping pong table in there and make it into my ping pong playing room. I love this kind of like brutal looking travertine that's splashed onto the walls. You've got indirect lighting right above and this entire area. Before we get lost in 700 square meters of area here, let's quickly show you that here we have a guest toilet, one thing vanity set up, the same style and design, wallpapered, fantastic. Love that it's inbuilt onto the entire paneling of wood we have here. This would be just a server room because you guys are so curious. I'm just going to open the doors and let you get a glimpse of it. Here we have, Patrick? The elevator. Correct. The elevator which is currently switched off. By the way, this home literally just hit the market and who else to show it to than us. So thank you, James Stewart, the exclusive lister, once again. A painting and some other stuff. House just been finished. What I very much like, by the way, is the wallpaper on this side, as well as on the pillar here. It really disturbs the space a little bit. 
Right up front, we have a rug here and a climatized wine cellar. Let's look inside. Love how fresh this place looks. We have wooden open shelving here. Backsplashed, we have natural stone in these humongous sizes and slabs indirect lighting so here you would put all the wines that you have nicely ex exposed Liebherr wine fridge entire little kitchenette set up here with a dishwasher just underneath and of course some shelves this bar area arc glasses for your red wine the same setup here with cupboards do you want to show them? Just open shelving. Store the bad wine there so no one can see your pour. And another wine fridge there. Fantastic. Moving on, we have a water fountain feature here. Book matched natural stone. So a fantastic little design element right there. And taking this passageway, we come firstly here to a massage room elegantly cladded with wood there and of course this entire working space with a sink drawers and shelves and so forth really interesting wallpaper but everything in this more calming wooden feel and i wanted to point this out patrick because it's the cutest little bench you can imagine just a tiny little bench you come to sit down and wait like a good boy for your turn to be massaged Exactly, my turn. Now, we have the real gem here, but maybe we should show the gym first, Patrick. What do you think? Okay, let's go. Because it's also great, but I want to keep the best for last. Here we have the little gym setup. Got your stepper, your bicycle, your running machine, wooden panels on the floor, windows there. Picture window there looking out to the swimming pool. Don't look yet. No spoilers, Patrick. Mirror set up entirely here as well. Nice little feature here with wood. And you know what's really cool, by the way? You've got these slabs, right? The strips. And within them, you've got the LED light. Do you see that, Patrick? Yes, I do. You don't want to say something? You, know, you were full of things to say when you first came to this area. Oh, there's some weights I'm missing here. Yeah, I mean, 12 kilos. Not everyone can lift as heavy as you, Patrick. Just wanted to show this room because it's an empty room. But like I said, living in a home, you always find things you need to put somewhere. So having the possibility to store things in so many storage places is pretty cool. Don't come so close to it. I have to open the store this way. Again, too close. <laughs> like the wooden doors here and we enter to this stunning area all right indoor swimming pool cannot be missing in your 16 and a half million euro mansion in the southern part of spain so we have a stunning swimming pool setup here backdrop book match natural stone with a water fountain feature love uh, the big tiling within the swimming pool as well here we have an entire bar setup as well with the natural stone, a sink, draw setups, and of course, here a fridge cannot be missing. More open shelving, indirect lighting installed within it. Little lamps dangling down. Beds to come and chill. You can also open this front completely, enjoying the natural breeze coming from outside. And there's something for you, Patrick. You've got not only a jacuzzi swimming pool here, which I love, but a plunge pool here, which is? Ice bath. An ice bath. Is it really cold? Touch it. Not yet. It needs to be cooled. Uh. But that's the whole idea behind it. Not something I very much like. Something more for you, no, Patrick? For sure. I like it. I would switch from one to another. All right. Here, with the pocket door, we are entering the changing room, shower area, and spa section. What do I mean by it? We have the shower here with a really nice one sink vanity setup here, basically. So use the vanity here and this massive sink just coming out of it. 
really putting focus onto it now. How crazy is this? Got the backdrop here, mirror setup, another shower. So we have a dual shower setup. And of course, what cannot be missing, a sauna right here from Harvia in a very minimalistic look. Everything is clean and made to measure. Most of the furniture, by the way, is done by Ark as well. Here we have the hammam. You're the hammam person, right, Dominic? Yeah, I like hot and moist. Patrick just likes hot and dry. But now I also love sauna, so I don't really mind. Now, this would be the changing room area. So you can come from this door. I just want to point it out real quick, which is a pocket door from the main landing of the ground of the basement here. Enter here, get changed. Cupboards, have your swimming trunks in here, right? And then lead on to this area for a quick fresh up. We've got the same one thing vanity set up here. Take a quick shower right there and then go to your spa area, which we have just fully toured, which is behind my brother. That is basically it. Let's continue. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have seen the entirety of the home, right? Over 2,400 square meters of built area of which 1,800 is interior. I hope you liked it so far. Give us thumbs up if you did. Now we will have the pleasure to show you the garden area. Another little pavilion house with bedrooms, the infinity swimming pool, the tennis court. There's a lot to see, so let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just came out from the formal living room area to the outdoor beauty of a thing we got going on here. We've got another outdoor lounge area here, just adjacent to the formal living room. Kind of like a lounge bed thing there, fantastic. There is the swimming pool number one. I'm gonna call it a swimming pool because look at the size. This is a jacuzzi, by the way. It does hubbly bubbly, but the size is insane. And you got the infinity edge, which I mentioned at the beginning, which merges at one point with the infinity edge of the swimming pool. So it kind of looks like one pool flowing into the other. Super sweet stepping stones. And of course, terraced area right there, cantilevered for bedroom. How about you just step to the other side for a yeah? second? Yeah, let's do that. This is the office, which was empty. This is the bedroom that we have seen, the first bedroom of the ground floor. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up this area. And we continue to the outdoor dining area, eating our fresco and your outdoor kitchen area. There's a lot to discover, so stay tuned and you already get a good glimpse of the landscape garden that we have going on. Now, Ketal furniture, fur dink and bench made, wooden dining table here. One, two, three, four, five, ten, twelve people get to eat here. That kitchen is right over there. So obviously you have great proximity to it. It's also shaded. Further on, we have this little meet and greet area, I would call it. So if you're throwing a dinner party, those who come first and you're waiting for your other friends to come, you can come in here sit down on one of these mega couches, drink your mojito and wait for the table to fill. Got these wooden slots right above that break the light and a good look at the Traventine plastered all over the property. Now, you can also enter into the kitchen from there. This staircase leads down to the pavilion that we will discover soon. And of course, you can also wrap around to come to the front of the house. Moving on, this entire separated outdoor kitchen area at its finest. I'm laughing because we have a barbecue set up from Fuck Her. Fuck Her. We already did that joke once in another home created by Arc to fantastic homes. And this is an Italian company. So probably like, Fuck Her. How would you say it in Italian? Fuck Her. <laughs> Anyways, you have a barbecue set up by them here. Of course, more drawers here with your bins and here 
drawers. You also have fridges here and here. All you need, basically. Basically all you need. Outdoor sound system also. And this entire greenery area for you to come and lie down. Now that is not it because right up front we have the swimming pool area that I want to show you guys. So let's go there. Let's do this. So the swimming pool would be right under this uh, green uh, field here, right? Exactly. The indoor one. The, I was just going to say the indoor swimming pool is situated underneath here and everything is laid out here with the glass balustrades to constantly give you visibility out to the greenery. And we've got the natural stone here as well, the marble that we had inside as well. And of course you get to see the landscaping here is beautiful. They went for such a vast collection of different trees and plantations just to give this entire area such a botanic feel. This is the landing for your swimming pool area. Before we point that way, Patrick, just look at this sheer design. Look at the cantilevered roof line right there. The big picture windows. This home sits solidly and I love the straight lines it has and the mix between white concrete and the travertine plastered on the walls. Stunning. Little pit down here for you to come and chill. Maybe even put a fire pit in there. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be put there, outdoor shower, and this infinity swimming pool at its finest. I mean, this is huge. We should make it a thing again that we jump into the swimming pools. We definitely should, Patrick, but not today. Not today. I saw your swimming trunks in the car. Yeah. I, you sure about that? 100%. The blue <laughs> ones, Dominic. Maybe ah. you should do it for the audience. Maybe. I'll, I'll consider it. But now let's go back to the tour. Borsa outdoor sound system throughout as well. So if you want to play the music, they have various speakers laid out which gives you the possibility to hear music everywhere. These stairs lead to the second landing, which also allows you to enter into your indoor swimming pool, as Patrick mentioned, which is right here. And right there is the pavilion. We'll also come to that. I love the garden. Look at this garden in here. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's so perfect. It's manicured. And that also sets Arc apart there and really have a great eye for details when it comes to these things. Here's the landing for the Infinity Edge swimming pools, water, and a continuation down to the second garden landing, which we have right here. We have cypress trees, olive trees. Actually, here, these kind of trees here, you know what this is, Patrick? Granite. Pomer pomeranian, it's called. It's a pomerang tree. And right there, we have a pavilion separated little house with two bedrooms that we will have a very quick look at. So come on. Now in the main house, we had four bedrooms on the first floor, the fifth bedroom on the ground floor, a bedroom apartment for staff, so six, and two further possible bedrooms here. Let's have a quick look. So you've got a kitchen set up right here. Natural light actually also coming from that side and one bedroom here, the space for a bedroom with the same cupboard setup as we have seen. And of course, your ensuite bathroom with a solid looking actual vanity here, but there are drawers right underneath, which is quite nice. They cladded them in. Bathtub, toilet, shower, fantastic. Now I would love to have this place and call it my, my little apartment home. This was the second room. Would put the bed either here or there. Actually, the bed would come right here. And so you actually have the space for it carved in. And you still get to enjoy the sea view and the greenery view. And the same setup of a bathroom right here. Ta-da! Now, Patrick, what do you think about this for a teenager? Oh, for a teenager, it's great for anyone. <laughs> but imagine you're 16 or 17. You invite your friends to your own little home like this. Yeah, I will try to make my parents understand how important it is. <laughs> Let me continue with the tour because 
I wanted to point out the Raynor's aluminum gla uh, sliding glass doors also have the railings inbuilt to the floor so that you don't trip over them. Now, another thing I would love to point out, they have divided the grass part with the turf part there with these dividing metal kind of like wall things to give the garden more of a curvy vibe, which is pretty cool and more vegetation. Now let's look at the tennis court and wrap things up. All right, guys, at this point, I would like to thank James Stewart, the exclusive lister, for allowing us to tour his stunning listing for 16 and a half million. And of course, to Ark, who have created yet again a timeless beauty of a home. And I just love how stealth it looks. It's modern, yet it feels integrated into nature. And I think that's something that defines them, that they build homes that merge with the environment. Now, if you like today's tour, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, like and subscribe, share the video with your friends, and yeah, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Thank you so much. We all love you guys. 100K soon. Maybe we're already at 100K. Are we? No, we will be. Maybe we are. I don't know. Regardless of that, we love what we do and we love you guys for supporting us. Patrick, last words to you, big boy. There. And just to show my appreciation for our viewers and fans, somebody asked, how will Patrick look like without a beard? There you go. Patrick is beardless. And it doesn't even feel so bad. So if you like that as well, let me know. <laughs> All right, Dominic. So thank you very much. Like and subscribe, thumbs up. And stay tuned for some more coming up soon because this is not yet it. There's much more to come. Um, we actually have quite a few homes from uh, James Stewart that are pretty awesome. We have to show you guys, we call it the hat trick because there are two more coming. So stay tuned for that. Yes, exactly. Stay tuned and peace out. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao, guys.